I visited the Royal Exchange uh, last year and um, I was thinking, oh, this is such a magnificent space, it's so theatrical, it's in the round. And then when I got the call to potentially design a show here, I was like, oh my god, I was like, oh, I definitely want to do it. And then when I found out that it was a naturalistic place set in a flat, I was like, oh. <laughs> I was like, oh my goodness. The script specifies like so much of it, so much of the design is already written in. You have the living room, you have the kitchen, and they, they cook, they, they, there's, a, there's a sink, there's a, there's a couch. So when, when Brian and I first approached it, we were thinking, yes, the, the plane needs this, the plane needs that, but what else can we add to it? You know, we want to make this our own. We don't want it to be like a cut and paste of um, what was done end on at the National Theatre and, uh, and then we are just plonking it you know, in, in, in this magnificent module in, in, in the Royal Exchange. From there, I, I looked into um, different... I, I was walking around Manchester just to get some inspiration and that's why I came across this uh, Tarmac as a medium, you know, as, and I was saying earlier that, you know, it's a very liminal material. It's something that um, you only encounter when you're in transit between different places. And I kind of thought, you know, that could be an interesting starting point. And that's where we started to decide, you know, maybe maybe it doesn't need to be as naturalistic a flat as it's written. You know, maybe the floor doesn't need to be parquet, it doesn't need to be all carpeted. It could be something more. And from there, it just kind of blossoms from there, I guess.